What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here to dissect yet another Brood War game for your daily dose. It's going to be Light versus Killer. Killer here in the brown. Let's change that color. Blue Proto uh, Blue Zerg? Uh, not so sure about the red Terran either. This this looks kind of bad on the minimap though. If I'm being honest. Brown Zerg on the minimap. It's pretty tough to spot. Well, let's stick with this color for now. We'll see how it goes. I'll try to catch everything on the minimap for you guys so you don't have to keep staring at it. Um, and I don't want to get uh, flamed in the comments for having red Terran and then the plagues are kind of invisible. So we're gonna go with we're gonna go with this. This will be okay for now. Uh, we are on Troy, guys. I talked earlier about this being a really bad map, and I'm gonna stick with that conclusion. However, I've been informed that this is actually quite a good game. So. It remains to be seen here, but a good game on a bad map. I'd love to see it. Um, I had high hopes for this map when it first came out. I thought that it was going to be a lot of fun. It turned out to be two gate land. Two gate and uh, eight, eight racks for the most part. Of course, you do sometimes get plays like this. The wall in with the gas. We're gonna go into a factory and then a starport or a double starport, something like that. Here against Killer, Light might have a little bit of a hard time pulling something like this off though, because Killer, he is a feisty little guy. He is definitely one to pull out some aggressive uh, aggression. And look at this, he's scattered cross map here. This is something I've been doing a lot recently too. Oh, and the drone is gonna get in? Okay, okay. The SUV wanted to get out, so the drone's gonna get in here. He will see everything. Sees the factory. If he can keep this alive by running around for long enough, he could even see, like, what's gonna be the follow-up to this factory. Because as soon as the factory is done, you're gonna wanna throw down starports. And he even, of course, seeing the gas being mined right now is also very big. He wants to know if it's gonna be two starport, one starport. What are we gonna go? A second factory? You know, these are all, this is very important information here, and he's going to get to see all of it. Very nice start here for Killer, who I was just about to say is incredibly aggressive. A very fun player to watch, and kind of the antithesis of a player like Light, right? Light is generally super calm and, uh, you know, very macro-oriented. He's not much of a person to do a build like this, I don't think... Like, I've seen Light do this before, but it's not... Directly in his wheelhouse, I would say. I used to... I You know, I have this feeling, like, back... Maybe a few years ago, he used to do this more often. And I remember him doing things like splitting off two groups of wraiths. Like, coming in with, you know, four wraiths over here and drawing all the mutas and hydras or mutas uh, and overlords up here and then backstabbing in and killing a bunch of drones here and then when the mutas come down here pulling back out and hitting another base i felt i feel like i remember that was him um drop a comment down below if you remember those games from light when he was controlling two groups of wraiths and making it look really really strong in op um here, we're going to have Hydralisk range. I really like it. Going straight into Hydralisk range. This is something that a lot of people overlook. He should be getting Burrow too, actually. Burrow uh, in this kind of game state is so good. It is so good. Because you don't know if he's going for like a Vulture drop. Or if he's going for Wraith. What's he going to do? But Burrow is good in every situation um, when the Terran player is going for this type of build. Range is fantastic because uh, when the Wraiths get over here, they can outrange Hydras. And if you get like four, six Wraiths and they start uh, microing really, really well, if they're microed by a professional like Light, you could end up losing all of your Hydras to the Wraiths. Um, having the range, though, means that you'll probably be able to fend it off. Uh, without losing any uh, of your hydras 
it's just going to be really very difficult for the wraiths to get anything done here okay he's gonna come in we get a kill on a drone at the gas no range is done so it's really hard for these to fight now and there's only two there's about to be four but they've already taken some damage and now there's enough hydras to where it's it's not really possible anymore maybe you can snipe an overlord or something but we've got a third hatch on the way here comes the second swipe in here he's looking for it we will have control tower uh but oh overload speed is already on the way so this is perfect from killer so far so he's gonna try and fight the hydras and it gets really scary if the hydras start to fall but with that range he should be able to deal enough damage to where he's not going to lose control of his natural he does need something back home at the main though i'm surprised that light didn't switch gears and fly into the main here um maybe expecting that there might be hydras popping out there he's just gonna back away it was a risky move for Killer to pull all the Hydras out of the main because those four Wraiths could have come in, killed a couple of Overlords and stuff while they're running in between the bases. But he does pull the Mac. He hasn't gotten almost anything so far. I think two maybe Hydras have gone down so far. No drones at all. And Hydras are coming across the map. He's just going to go for it. Full on Hydra production. One Spore in the natural, one Spore in the main. I love it. This is super smart play here. I'm surprised we don't have an upgrade coming, but it is what it is. We're very low on money right now. He started the second gas. He's not even going to mine it. He's just going across the map here. Three overlords. And we've got, what, eight, nine hydras here. Ten hydras total. They're going to come in right now. And <laughs> Light is flying out. Light is sending his... Uh, command center over here and look at this oh it's broken oh my god it's closed he closed the door he closed the door and he sent the uh co command center out this is crazy oh no 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 we need drop yeah drop is gonna come in but light should know that that's the the key here that's the play you have to go drop at this point he sees the uh spore colony he should be able to get in maybe get a kill or two one goes down I'll fly over here to the main. He's going to see another drone. Can he get it? No, not quite. Hydra's here in position. So everything's going to be pushed back. So Killer doesn't take any damage. But he did build a lot of Hydras for nothing. These Hydras are doing nothing for him. They could have been drones. Meanwhile, back at home, tanks are here. It's like a Ling got picked off. Tanks are popping out. And we've got a natural with that dropship kind of a hilarious game so far uh from light light really playing the map right now seriously playing the map and he's gonna you know chase down one of these hydras looks like five wraiths remain you can see that there's a third base here no way he can kill that though um and his rates are starting to run out of that energy 50 sorry guys my voice is a little bit gone gone right now here comes that drop. Going to drop into the back base. Right here on top of these SCVs. I think he can just go over here. And the tanks shouldn't be able to hit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go after the CC maybe? CC? No, no. He's just going to back off. Make sure that he can't mine. That's the main thing here. Just make sure that there's no mining going on for light at the back of the space. He needs to get in this corner actually. Move over here. Like, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect. Okay, maybe that one Hydra's gonna die, but... Okay, he picks it up. Let me pick up one more. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. What? That can get hit, too? Oh, my God. Wraith? Uh, or, sorry, tank range is so long. It's kind of crazy. Um, Gonna find another spot here. I don't know how this one doesn't hit, but this one hit. That's kind of wild. But anyway, more droning. Lots of them popping out right now. Shutting down that natural base. Or that, that uh, yeah, this base right here. Looks like a uh, tank going to be dropped on low ground. So eventually this is going to come up. No two ways about it. All the Hydras are going to be lost. But hey, we did buy some time here. And those Hydras really weren't doing anything anyway. Um, they were getting pretty much nothing done. Ship weapons coming up here. Guys, what? Oh, man. We're going to see ship weapons. Are we going to see um, 
Valkyries or what the heck is gonna go on here? A drop coming over here. He's gonna get his third base up real quick. Light very fast on this uh, expansion timing. And we need to see another base coming here for Killer. Otherwise, he's going to fall behind very quickly. Uh, I'd also like to see him just kill one of these Assimilators. Because Hydras can still slip through there. But then the Vultures cannot. So, that could be a good move. But we do need to see him get another base online. Pick up, uh, pick up a draw and drop it over here. What are we doing? We've got Ensnare on the way. <laughs> okay. Queens, two queens, and flyer carapace. I'm I'm liking this game now, guys. I am a big I am a fan. I am a fan of this one. Not a fan of Troy in general, but this is uh this is tickling my fancy right now. This is this is floating my boat. If you catch my drift. This is uh this is some fun. And it's gonna be interesting to see how two pro players will uh Adapt to these kind of wacky situations. Look, so you're gonna fly in. I don't think he saw this, but a third starport is coming up. He flies around. He sees tanks. I don't think he gets to see this third starport and a second armory as well, plus a science facility. Dude, this is gonna get weird. He definitely saw the third base, and he's building six mutas. Hmm. I think we're gonna see Valkyries on the way. Is that what we're gonna have now? He's just gonna kill this assimilator and float another CC over. Very funny stuff here from, I think he'll just build it right here, float it over. This is interesting, guys. This is super interesting. Physics lab right into BC. Oh man, we don't have a hive. We have queen's nest, no hive? Dude, this is gonna get weird. If you have a hive, if you have a hive on the way right now, you just make defilers and with Hydra, Defiler Hydra, you should be okay. Just take a bunch of bases. He does eventually drop out here. But Killer is slow on the uptake right now, I think. He's a little bit behind the curve right now. And um, that's, I mean, that's not a knock to him. I think that, oh God, is he gonna get this? Whoa, he actually spots this. He's gonna get it. Huge, huge, huge ensnares here gonna pick off a lot of these race the race are desperately running back he can just ignore this turret though go to work on all the race pick them all off here all in one fell swoop every wraith is going to go down this is a beautiful maneuver here from killer i love it man what an amazing play from him getting the perfect hits off with those ensnares at just the precise moment where he can shove this all back and Light's plan was just torn asunder here. I would love to see him fly in, fly in, kill some tanks. Tanks here are free for the taking, kill the tanks. Okay, going after a Valkyrie right now and he's probably gonna get it, he does. Okay, he flies in, he sees that it's Battle Cruiser <laughs> and he's gonna go to work on the SCVs. Kill the tanks, man, kill the tanks and go Hydra. Oh man, we're not gonna see him kill the tanks it looks like. With this many mutas, he probably could have killed every tank, actually. This was a big missed opportunity, I feel like. He is going to get a lot of SCVs. Uh, but now battle cruisers are out, and they do fight pretty darn well um, against the mutas. So you do have to run away. And he is indeed going to take off here. He can start to build a lot of Scourge, though. And kind of Ogre Zergit. I, I know we don't re normally say that in... Uh, ZVT, but... Okay, here we go. Nice. Parasite detected on both of those. Love it. Gotta love love to see that, man. Parasite on both of these battle cruisers. Now he's gonna know where they are at all times. Another base is up here for light. This man is crazy. <laughs> Restoration is on the way right now, guys. What are we looking at? Okay, I think he can see this. Yeah, he sees these overlords coming, but he doesn't really have anything to respond with that to the to it with. He's only got f eight hydras in here, by the way. Most of these are just empty, which is a little bit funny. Um, he is gonna unload the eight hydras, but you can actually kill this with just BCs. He's got two BCs, eight hydras. I don't think can stand up to that. If he had like sixteen hydras or something, it would be a lot scarier, but. Okay, tank gonna come over. He's gonna target the tanks. 
Tank's going down really fast here. He targets the drop as well. That was a really good pick off. Get it, killing the drop right here is beautiful. Dude, why? Killer, if only you had your... Uh, Hydras, more Hydras with this. Or maybe just a bunch of Scourge would have been good too. Pop out a bunch of Scourge, you can kill these two battle cruisers, And then the base is basically yours at that point. Okay, he is going to try and come in here with some mutas just before the turrets finish let's see if he gets in there no he's actually going to delay a little bit and unfortunately three more battle crews is going to pop out this is mass bc guys you ever seen mass bc in tvz me neither this is craziness another set of turrets has popped up here and it's mass expansion time for Killer. Killer just going to take a ton of aces. Try to break in here with the Mutas. That's a lot of BCs though. Plus the one Valkyrie going to be spraying down that damage. So Scourge going to come through. Can he actually get some connections? Looks like he's going to get a few. And we do get some... Uh, What is that called again? Ensnare. Jesus. Ensnare on some of these BCs. But... Oh my god, have you ever seen anything slower in your entire life? I feel like we're watching on normal speed. These things are moving so slow. Not something you get to see every day, my friends. Not something that you see every day. Pretty wild stuff. A lot of devours morphing here. And we do have that defiler out. So defiler is here, ready to fight. Hydra's going to be loaded up. Ling's going to be loaded up. Devourers are going to take the fight in the air. And uh, along with the Scourge, hopefully wipe out the battle cruisers, And then we're going to have the drops come in to kill all the turrets. It's going it, to it's gonna take some really perfect execution here, though. And we've got Yamato just finished. Guys, Yamato is done. And we've got a bunch of Yamatos ready here. So we could see Yamato used. In a fight. How crazy will that be? Yamatoing down at Devours, potentially. Looks like the BCs are actually going to leave. This is a perfect opportunity for Killer, actually. If he comes up here and catches all the BCs with a uh, an Ensnare and then uses the Devours, I am going to lose my shit, guys. Let's go. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Okay, going to do some consumes here. I think he's got Plague, too. Oh, man, he's going to lose the Assimilators, unfortunately, but he doesn't need them because he doesn't need a ground army up here. He just needs to take this fight. Here we go. He gets a scan off. He sees the Defiler is coming. Defiler is going to be avoided here. There's the Yamato. Yamato on to some Devourers. The Devourers getting hit by that Yamato. A lot of them are going to go down, but the Scourge coming through are going to hit. Two of the BCs go down immediately. Another Yamato comes down, soaking up a lot of that damage. Uh, are the Devourers, but eventually the BCs do indeed clean them up and the Scourge can't really connect when all the, the I mean, when the Battlecruisers are targeting them it's really, really hard for them, for them to connect on anything and look at that, only one more goes down expanding at the other end of the map this is a very good idea right now for Killer Killer just taking multiple bases very far away from his opponent Nice double Yamato there. Picking off a couple of these defilers and coming back in with the BCs. We don't have a Dark Swarm here. This base is saved. If there was only just one Dark Swarm, he does not have it. There's the other defiler. That's going to come forward. Another couple of hits and another BC goes down. But we've still got six BCs here. Okay, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's got the defiler. Defiler, Dark Swarm, Hydra's underneath. That cannot be killed. He's going to drop that. He's waiting for a potential plague. Looks like he's not going to get it. Don't be greedy, though. Killer, you got to throw down that Dark Swarm. Otherwise, you will get Yamatoed. We all know how that goes. Follow up here from... I mean, there is no follow up. We're going BC all the way, boys. All the way. Double upgrade BC. And it's just mass BC here. We've got 10... Battle cruisers. They are operational here at 12 o'clock. 
Now the command center coming up. He's just going to float. <laughs> He's leapfrogging command centers over top of each other up towards the top left hand corner. And he is going to have to hold this. But I don't think he really minds losing this base. I, I feel like Light is just going to pull. Yeah, he just pulls the SCVs. Let him die. Let him die. We're going to float away. Maybe we can even come down here and take this later. We're going to take this base here. And we're on an island, so... Who cares? We'll just let that go down. Nothing that he can really do over here at this moment. Killer cannot get in and kill the uh, the starports, so they're going to continue making BCs. We've got siege tanks here. This one with 15 kills now. Going to be very strong. Could throw down some plagues on some of these. The, the buildings will die. Um, missile turrets will die if you plague them, by the way. They'll get so low on HP, they'll burn down unless you repair. Oh, look at that. Boom. Burn down. Pretty sweet. I heard a restore go on. I don't know which what, what that was on. A little funny to hear that, but not something we hear every day. Tank here over on the other side of the wall. He is going to be able to start killing off some of these spore colonies. Not really too much that Killer can do about that. Killer just going to have to hold this um, and probably lose this base. He's going to take this base, though, and he's going to be getting up bases down the bottom right. Being a little bit slow to saturate all of those, of course, but eventually he will get all of these online, especially transferring this many uh, drones across the map. Probably going to go right to here. And what is he going to do? Loading up drops right now. There's so much anti-air here. It's kind of hilarious. It's kind of, it is a little bit ridiculous at this point. Yamato's coming down. A little bit uh, wasteful with the Yamato cannon there, but he will be able to clear out the spore colonies here. However, drop coming through. Let's see if he can get a Dark Swarm down. If he can get a Dark Swarm down. Dark Swarm. There it is. Plague. Um, time to start consuming units. Consume a bunch of units and get that plague. Oh, he's looking for it. Oh, the plague. Doesn't get it. You Yamatos go down. Another Yamato going to go down on this Defiler. So all the Defilers have been taken care of. Defilers are gone. Oh, one more left. One more left. He needs one more Yamato to get rid of that. SCVs are all going to go down, though. This is a really great play by Killer. This is, I think, why we don't usually see... Um... People go for BCs. is because a drop like this can just ruin your day. And uh, that's, I think, what is going to happen here to Light. He is going to get this base up here. Even going to start making factories. Start to make some tanks and stuff up there. Which is very annoying. Maybe even slow push into this spot. He could come back and take this base again. Just come over here and land. Drop a few SCVs off. Oh, I almost missed this fight. Big fight over here. At the center left, the devourers are so good. Oh man, that's so many devourers, guys. We just need to see a few uh, hydras. It might not even matter. A few hydras here, or not hydras, excuse me. Mutas, if a few mutas come up. Oh, that's so many devourers. Holy crap, guys. That is so many devourers. I can't even hold them all in one uh, hotkey here. Look at that. 12 in this. I mean, even more than 12. He's just going to run on top of the missile turrets to make sure that he finishes them off. Damn, dude. That is so many. Finishing it off. He will lose a lot of these devours, but hey, he's willing to take those losses. If he can just wipe out that whole battlecruiser army, it makes things so difficult for Light to ever come back. In a situation like this. Looks like the the defiler got picked off. I think. There's one more over here. You should pick it up into an overlord. You hide. What, what's a great move right now. Is you hide it in an overlord. Or you burrow it. If you have burrow. Even better. Hide it in an overlord. And then right as something like this is happening. You drop it out. And then plague everything. You can get a huge plague. In a situation like this. Unfortunately he's not paying attention to it right now. Maybe he's watching it now. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. This is the move. This is the move, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, Guardian's coming in over here. Guardian's gonna hit these uh, turrets. Dude, this is a scary push right now. I think he's gonna get this. I think he's gonna get this big plank. No, 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 keep it in the, keep it in, hidden, keep it, keep it secret, Se keep it safe. Keep it secret, keep it safe, what are you doing? Pulling away the guardians here. This is, this is the one defiler. The one defiler to rule them all. Gotta keep that thing alive and get the plague. Yes, there it is. Okay, he missed kind of, you got two. You got two, wanted to get all, what is this, seven? Okay, he picks up, he's going for it. The flying defiler guys, here we go. Get him, get him, get him. Ooh, not quite. So close, so, so, so close. Not able to get that last plague off the tank, kind of saving the day there, I think. And another base gonna be retaken over here. Um, oh, looks like a drop coming into the main base now. This is a little bit troublesome right here for Light. He has to bring his uh, battle cruisers all the way back across the map and, oh, I thought that was gonna be a defiler. I thought that was a defiler in there, but it wasn't. He has to come all the way back. It is such a long way. It is such a long way for these BCs to cross. And he's gonna get a lot of damage while this is happening. So, what can I say about Light here? I think he has to float. I think floating to the top left is the play. You don't really have that much um, income over here anyway. So just abandon, abandoning this position, I think is probably the way to go. But he is gonna come back. He's gonna try to deal with this. Ah, he lost the upgrade. That's a little bit frustrating. He almost had three, three battle cruisers. Um, and meanwhile, another drop gonna come in. Yeah, this, this is perfectly played. Perfectly executed by Killer. Um, if you ever face something like this on the ladder uh, in a custom game or whatever, this is exactly how to do it. The drop play, the, the defiler play, the hydras, uh, the mass devourer, everything just going perfectly here for Killer. He's got so much money uh, with the mass expansion. Just expanding in opposite ends of the map is just perfect. Because you know that the defi the the uh, battle cruisers aren't going to be able to fly all the way around. If they're up here, they can't be down here. There's just no way. He's going to fly through the middle now. And this is kind of light giving up, I think. Light is just kind of giving up here. He's fly flying his BCs into the middle of the map. And there's nothing. He even ends up div like leaving the entire middle of the map. Or the entire top right of the map. Um, just going by the wayside here. He's gonna have to let that go. And dude, Killer is gonna take this game, I think 100% now. We did lose something. I guess some overlords went down. He's at 191 supply though to just 90. So 100 supply advantage here for Killer. And he's still got a lot of money to work with. And he's not gonna let Light take any more bases, man. Definitely not. Here comes some irradiates on top of all of these devours, but just look at how many devours this is. That is so, so many, and GG is called. What a crazy game here, guys. A real banger on Troy. Love to see it. Love to see uh, Zerg showing us how to defeat these kind of crazy strats. Sometimes a strat like this will work, you know, on ladder. If, if I'm playing Zerg and I've never, ever seen someone go BC before, I might be a little confused. Like, what am I actually supposed to do? And I might end up losing a game like this, but being able to see Killer and the way that he handled this, um, I think he did it perfectly. Really, he, he handled this absolutely the way that you're supposed to. Um, the, the armor and attack upgrade, did he have double? He did, he went for double greater, or double spire um, for the greater spire and for the double upgrade. Really, really nice, nicely done by him. Um, was he 3-3 as well? I think so. I think he was also 3-3. I don't see a Hydra around to take a look at. Um, yeah, he's got three armor for sure. Yeah, I don't see any Hydras at all. No Hydras here. No Hydras there. Oh, there's one. Yeah, he was 3-3. So yeah, he, he just got all the upgrades in the world. He takes the 
base down here. He expands in opposite corners of the map. He just does everything really to perfection here. Very, very well done by Killer. Um, props to Light for trying out like a crazy build as well. Uh, if he had gotten, like, let's say, let's just imagine a state in our heads here. Imagine if Light had dealt a bunch of damage with his early rates. Like, he comes in, he gets a bunch of kills here. You know, he got a couple kills here. The Hydras come in. Then he flies down to here and he kills like four or five drones down here. You know, flies back up, tries to kill a few more drones. Like, if he really ravages the economy of... Um, killer here and then killer tries to go across the map with that attack the hydra attack and it doesn't work and killer's just way behind in drones like he went to 88 holy sh holy <laughs> 88 drones is kind of insane if he went to attack and then he didn't have that drone saturation back at home we could have seen a state where this battle cruiser play might have worked it was starting to kind of work here when light had you know this base this base this space and this space like he had the entire top side of the map all uh inaccessible by ground and he was starting to push he's getting this base and you know he's holding this bait dude this could have gotten really weird uh had killer taken that extra damage but he didn't light didn't get a great advantage in the early game killer played this just about to perfection Really, really nice game here. Shout out to Dude Nerd for sending this to me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this wild, wild game on Troy. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you tomorrow.